next we need to apply our uh, ambient occlusion to our uh, scene here but before first we need to hide uh, the glass materials here I'm gonna hide that I'm gonna hide this too here and I think the back these okay I'm gonna hide these and apply an ambient occlusion because if you keep them and uh, apply the ambient occlusion on it, you're gonna uh, hide all of the stuff inside the car and you're not gonna get the ambient occlusion. So I'm gonna grab just a standard material here. I'm gonna go to this diffuse. I'm gonna apply go to mental ray and grab the ambient occlusion map here. I'm gonna leave the default 16. It's fine. And uh, go to under under setup. Go to processing and enable material override and copy this over down here oh, it has a blank name so I'm going to name it ambient and I'm going to copy it again here ok ok now let's uh, render it and see what you're gonna get I'm gonna let it render and I'm gonna be back when it's done and this is our ambient occlusion pass here I'm gonna save it um, uh, on the desktop and I'm gonna call it ambient I'm gonna say save it as a PNG file save it okay Okay guys, now I'm gonna just use the lines, I need just to render the lines, so how to do that, I'm gonna go over here, grab this material, turn it to silver dominate, that's why I turn it white, and then the mental ray here, mental ray connection, uh, I'm gonna just grab the simple contour again, okay, instance, okay, uh, and I'm gonna drop it and put it in the over material override, and uh, render. Make sure you hide the windows and uh, the headlight, the headlight glasses, so you can uh, then be in the inclusion can uh, calculate what's uh, under them. So with the line, you can not be the So the lines, you can see well, what's under them. Okay. All right. And this is it. I'm gonna save it. The lines. Save. Yes, I already have it, I'm going to just save over it. Now what I need to do, I need just to render the colors. I don't need to render the lines. I need instead of going to uh, each materials and turn all that off and after turning it back on if I want to. I'm going to use the state sets for that. So I'm going to go to renderings, grab state sets. Rendering, state sets, come on. Oh, it's right here. Okay, I'm gonna uh, state. I'm gonna create add state here. That's our regular one. I'm gonna rename this one. I'm gonna rename it this one. Color with lines. Okay. And then I'm gonna create another one. And I'm gonna rename this one here. This colors. This color. Okay. Make sure you uh, you push the begin record recording state so you can record the change that you do in your scene. I'm gonna record. Okay. First of all, I want to uh, disable this one here. Second, I want uh, under the renderer. I need to disable the the contours. And now go to the materials. And each material, I need to disable the contour for each materials. I'm gonna just go to the the other uh, state set here. The other material view. Mode here and just go one by one. You need to 
disable the contours and the ink disable the contours this one disable the ink and the contours this one here I'm gonna disable the contours here okay this one I already did this one I think okay this one and the ink I'm not gonna let you guys go through uh, watch me doing this I'm gonna just pause it very quick okay after when I disabled all of those I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna turn off the recording here now let me try to render and see what you're gonna get render select state you can see standard just the colors without the, the lines one more thing that I need to do I need to make sure that I render my background I didn't render my background and so actually you can use this just without the background so save as uh, let's see just colors background I think the final I think I'm going to be using the one with the background so I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this or not but anyway now you got all the pieces that we have we need we have the, the colors we have the light we have uh, we have the lines we have the ambient occlusion and we have the beauty render if we need it I don't think that we will use it but we have it there so uh, after this we're going to head down to uh, Photoshop and composite all uh, those renders together and see our final result thank you okay guys now we are in photoshop i got my uh, layers here i got uh, the color layer i got the ambient occlusion and i got the lines first of all here i'm gonna try to lighten up my uh, ambient occlusion it's kind of just too dark i think that should be enough set this one to multiply give you a better uh, ground here as you can see next I'm gonna grab my uh, lines I'm gonna merge down the this two here merge down duplicate it and I'm gonna just uh, play with the colors a little bit here control B to the color balance and I'm gonna just try to
sharpen quite a bit. Click OK. I'm going to set them to multiply. So that's what you get. OK. I'm going to try to give them different color here. A kind of uh, bluish color. Saturation. Make it less saturated here. I'm not gonna play with the light notes. Okay. And I'm gonna merge my all my layer now. Merge down. Come on, merge down. And I'm going to go to filters, uh, lens corrections here. And I'm going to just apply some distortions here on it. I'm not going to apply some vignette. And uh, this is it. And basically, you want more of uh, get up more renders and do the same thing to it. So, uh, you guys, hopefully, I hope you guys learned something new today. I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial. Uh, the next week, I'm going to be doing uh, the same uh, another tutorial about the tune shading, but this time, we're going to be using a lot of textures in our object. So, I uh, hope you guys you like it and uh, see you uh, next week. Thank you.